two sides that are completely different at the moment. Wolves are at plus 300 and they host Liverpool at minus 115. Normally you'll see Liverpool around the minus 175. The draw is at plus 285, which I believe is a runner. Um, over two and a half at minus 130. Stint, you're the Liverpool fan. You see Liverpool going from the opposite direction to strength to strength. Um, under two and a half at plus 110. Do we see a normal Wolves Liverpool draw half time? Um, potentially, I would never back the, the draw at half time. Um, just from a from a personal perspective, I think you're absolutely bang on regarding Liverpool's odds. If you look at Liverpool in their four visits to Wolves since Wolves returned to the Premier League, Liverpool have been minus two eighty, minus one sixty, minus one seventy five, minus one seventy five. So for me, I, I have to take Liverpool at minus one fifteen because I think it's it's too much of a overreaction to to Liverpool's performances. Yes, hundred percent, they've been they've been poor defensively, but going forward, they're still posting similar figures to the likes of Arsenal, Man City in terms of chance creation. And since Lopetegui's come in at Wolves in the in the in his five games, they've only scored four goals, and that's been Wolves' problem all season. Yes. Um, they they're creating less than that those four goals in terms of expected goals and when you look over the course of this season they're they're generating just 0.9 expected goals per game now based on all these odds we see on the screen now Wolves are expected to score 1.15 goals here according to the odds but we know according to the stats that isn't true and that's a, and that's when Wolves play against average opposition. Now Liverpool are obviously above average opposition. So for me, it doesn't it doesn't add up. And, and Liverpool are, are the bet. I did a similar thing when Liverpool went to Villa on a, on Boxing Day. Um, purely all about price. And actually, Liverpool have got a really good record against Wolves in the Premier League. They've won all eight matches since Wolves returned. And Wolves have really struggled to break Liverpool down, scoring just two goals in those games. So similar theme, I feel. That over the course of 90 minutes, Liverpool will create better and higher quality scoring chances than Wolves. And I foresee Liverpool taking a, more likely to take advantage of those chances compared to Wolves. So, yeah, when they're at minus 115, I mean, I, I put them up at minus 125. So they've drifted to minus 115. So I'm even happier to take them at this price. The big number on that page, uh, Marco here, was Wolves not to score at plus 180 and don't rule out the nil-nil. Yeah, no, not not for me. Um, uh, Liverpool aren't for me either, uh, in all honesty. Um, I, I get everything Stinch says and I'm sort of respectfully listening to him um, making a, a solid case. On you the respectfully Reds dismiss everything that Stinch has just said? Not at all, but I kind of back back some of some of it. Um, I mean, this isn't Liverpool of last season or Liverpool the year before, so we have to treat them differently because they've not given us any reason to to treat them as a, as a minus 175 shot. Um they have lost five of nine away games this season. They've won once in six across all competitions coming into this. They've failed to score in back-to-back -back league games. Um, and Stinch is right. You know, the one thing going well for them so far this season has been the attack. The defence has been a complete mess. Uh, Canate is now missing. Van Dijk is missing. Um, that's a big concern for me. The midfield balance and makeup has been an issue all season. The attack has been the one that's been converting, oh, sorry, creating chances. Converting them has been often their issue. But um, actually, in recent weeks, the, the creation has, has has gone down as well. Their XG process was sort of uh, league leading in terms of going forward, but actually it's really dipped. Um, they're averaging just 1.09 XG across their last six games, um, which includes a combined 1.29 XG in both FA Cup ties with Wolves. I know both teams were, were much changed and you can't read too much into that, but you know, even against Chelsea last time out, I thought they were pretty limp. Um, and defensively, they've been a complete mess on their travels. They're averaging almost two expected goals against away from home in the Premier League, which is disastrous. That's down sort of relegation levels. So I can't trust them at minus money, um, regardless of sort of historic odds. And, and, and Wolves, um, I just think you have to treat them slightly differently now under Julian Lopetegui. I know they were well beaten by Man City, but they've been showing signs of life. I think the signings that they've made in January will start to make an impact soon. I think Sarabia and, and Matthias Cunha um, are a big improvement on what they've already got there. Um, under under Lopetegui, they've they've taken as many points in, in five games uh, as they managed in the 10 previous matches as well. So they are sort of starting to, to sort of find their feet as well. So and, and I look I like the squad. I like Wolves' squad a lot. I think there's a lot to, to, to work with there. There's got a lot of ability, different skill sets, sort of variety and flexibility about how they can play. And I think they can trouble Liverpool. Um, 
so yeah i mean if, if i was going to get involved i probably would back wolves plus half a goal uh, plus money but um just kind of happy to leave it alone to be honest because um uh stinch is obviously strong on liverpool um and i'm not massively strong on this so i just couldn't be back in liverpool at the price personally but um as i say he's the one with a strong view rather than i am so i'd obviously sort of uh, <laughs> happily pass this one up yeah, the other way to go in this game, if you like. I mean, Mitch touches on it. Uh, Liverpool are third in corners. I think Wolves uh, are going to be basically keeping the ball. Liverpool will be keeping the ball to make sure they keep the back. No, neither of these sides want to go 1 0 down and have to chase. Um, I think the unders in the corners uh, could well be. And maybe if Liverpool are giving up, I think Liverpool have more corners than Wolves. Um, but if you, the number's set at 9.5, maybe 10. I would go under that. I would definitely go under. Um, okay, Wolves double chance then, says Jack. But there again, you, Liverpool are going to want for somebody and people are going to say, right, they are back. Let's have a little look at the official pick. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Darwin Nunes scores because he keeps going in there and he is the type of player that will uh, trouble the Wolves' defence. We've got Liverpool money line now at minus 115. Does that alarm you, uh, Stinch, that it was at minus 125 and it's moved like 10 cents? Um, not really. <laughs> you think? Do you think that the money will come in late and go back to minus? Would you think we go off at around minus one twenty, one twenty-five? Uh, potentially. I mean, the Asian syndicates and the Asian lines used to be very favourable um, for Liverpool, yeah. and they don't really bet until match day because of the, the low liquidity in the lead up. So we could see. Uh, I haven't seen really too much market movement in favour of Liverpool this season, understandably, given the form. Um, so this might be one where, yeah, maybe, maybe the odds um, continue to be uh, either drift or just stabilise now at minus 115. But, yeah, I was, I was, um, I, I, you have to respect the market. But uh, I think one thing the, the market doesn't take into account too much is things is little nuances like weather um if like certain players are missing changing formation changing manager so that's where like us obviously talking about it is is areas where we can take advantage of yeah exactly i think it's gonna be a very very tight first half so i wouldn't put anybody off of the draw and uh, maybe the under one as well um I just saw here, Slippy Toe says, goal scored in both halves at minus 163. I think you're crazy. I mean, you're absolutely mad to be thinking a goal could be scored. Liverpool could win this game 1-0 if they're up at half time. Um, but I think the most obvious scorer is probably 0-0. Like 